Good evening. In this edition of Inside Bergen County, we'll learn about the fundraising efforts of the Colleen Giblin Foundation. Hear from a representative of the Bergen County Parent Workshop, find out who's exercising to benefit the American Lung Association, and visit the stars at a local grammar school. Hello, I'm John Battaglia, and Inside Bergen County is next. Hello and welcome to another edition of Inside Bergen County. I'm John Battaglia and I'll be filling in for your host, Denise McConaughey, who's taking some time off to have a baby. And we'd like to take this time to wish her all the best. The nighttime has often been a source of wonder, but here in Bergen County, the lights and pollution have all but obscured its view. In an attempt to introduce the stars to his students, Haworth science teacher Hank Tenenbaum uses a portable planetarium. As you can see, it's nothing more than an overgrown, overgrown igloo. It has a tunnel where we entered. It has a second tunnel through which air enters. And that's that little fan. It's a two by two foot house fan. Totally inflates the dome and that's what keeps the whole thing up. The planetarium is a means of getting the outside world into a school. Uh, you cannot see the stars the way they would show up here during the day. You cannot, you can possibly get the kids back at night, but it's difficult. Here you can actually set it up and project onto the dome exactly what the sky looks like at times of the year. And they get to learn the constellations and they learn about various things with the rising and setting of the sun. And we can transport them to the North Pole, we can transport them to the equator. We can do a, a marvelous number of things here with them. When they enter here, they're asked just to sit on the floor, not the fabric because that is kind of delicate. We orient them to the positions, with your north, the west, south, and east, so that once the lights are out and you refer to a particular direction, they know what you're referring to. We then begin to lower the lights, and they begin to see the stars shiny and those of course are the brighter stars as it gets darker more and more stars appear and then it's a matter of <coughs> working with them to find the constellations that they're familiar with participants learned a great You're deal from the experience and the teachers were given a lesson as well we have been lucky enough to have the star lab on loan from the um, Liberty Science Center and Hall of Technology Museum, which is a new museum being built uh, for New Jersey. And because Mr. Tannenbaum and I have taken a course during the summer to train the use, we were able to borrow it uh, free of charge for our students. Uh, we wanted to see what kind of reaction the students would have, and we've been more than pleased with how they've reacted to it and how very real a planetarium this turns out to be for them. Mr. Tannenbaum and I have both been trying to get them to uh, lose some misconceptions and come up with things that are more real. Uh, naming and finding the constellations, that's always interesting to children. They love the pictures and the stories. But also just the sense of sky and how important the sky is, the fact, for example, that the stars are always out. I didn't know so many of the constellations, but I just knew a couple of them. And I learned a whole bunch more this time. I usually look for like the North Star and the Big Dipper. Sometimes, like, sometimes I just look up at the stars. I look for like the North Star and the different constellations. Like, and like if I can find any constellations that I can find that I would make up, like that are not already made up. Now I know I know more about everything in the sky, and I because like before I didn't know a, I didn't know a lot. I just know like a little bit. Now I know like more, a lot more, and so I, I'd look for everything that I learned. Um, I learned that Indians had their own constellations and instead of the scientific ones that we have now, like um, they had things like Ryan's Belt, whereas we have it 
names for those stars instead of Ryan's belt. It's been a total uh, rain from awe as they come in to uh, absolute delight. We've had little kids, the, the lower graders especially, just dancing, waiting to get in. And when they get in here, ooing and eyeing. And the older, the eighth graders, for example, uh, who want to be a little less outwardly enthusiastic, also, as they get in here, amazed with the size of it, the fact that it's very comfortable, the fact that it's not a frightening experience, but a really fun experience for them. Yeah, I know of no child who has complained or done anything but uh, given a, a positive response to the whole thing. And as I say, if we, they have had fun we have in putting this together, they've enjoyed it, because we certainly have. The Star Lab Portable Planetarium at the Haworth School was met with a great deal of enthusiasm. Hopefully that enthusiasm will lead to a better understanding of science in general and create a new generation of scientists to lead Bergen County into the 21st century. Well, that wraps up this edition of Inside Bergen County. And remember, without you, there is no Bergen County. So write to us with your comments and suggestions about future topics you'd like to see on your Cablevision channel. Our address is Cable Vision of New Jersey, attention inside Bergen County, 5 Legion Drive, Creskill, New Jersey, 07626. I hope you enjoyed this edition, and remember you can call us with your comments at 569-3720, extension 252. I'll see you next time on Inside Bergen County. Good night.